Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got another in our little series of scroll effects for you today. And these are all built using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. There's no extra coding or plugins involved. And as we scroll down, you can see some various ones we've done in the past. And the one we're actually going to do today is we've got a contact form that as we roll this blue section up, it's going to slide in. And if we continue to roll down, it's going to slide back out again. Really easy to do. Like I say, this is all done with the inbuilt effects. And these scroll effects are pretty cool. If somebody's scrolling down your site and things start to appear and happen, it's going to get people's attention pretty quickly, which is exactly what you want with a website. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. And once enabled, I'm going to go down to where I want to work. And we'll just delete this form. OK, I'm going to hit the little dark button to add a new module. We've got a section, the blue tab, with a row, the green tab, with two columns in it. I'm going to add my contact form right here. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules, plenty to build just about any site. And today we're just going to use a simple contact form. There it is. I'll just style it up slightly. Don't want to spend too much time on styling. And this will work with any module today. You can put this scroll effect on any module. So let's just give it a title. Success message. This is what will pop up when they actually send the message. What you want your submit button to say. Mine actually says submit at the moment. I know you can't see that because it's blue on blue. I'll put a background in in a minute. Well, let's just change that to send. And when I change the background, you'll be able to see it. The important one here is where you want the form sent to. Put your email address in here. If you want it to redirect somewhere other than this page, you can enable this switch and redirect them wherever you want. Spam protection, we've got a basic one there which seems to work fine. If you want to add a third party one like Google Capture, you can turn this on and put in an API key and use that. Okay, well let's just pop a background color in. I'll put a simple white in. Give it a bit of spacing all around. I'm going to go down to spacing. I'm on the design tab now. I'm going to give it 50 pixels all around. Just put in the 50, it'll put in the picks for you. Hit the chain, it does the opposite side. Same with the left and right. Okay, so we've got a basic contact form there. If you want to continue styling it, obviously do. It's all under the design tab here. For instance, we can uh, make our button our own. Use custom styles for the button. Let's give the button text color white. It'll disappear on the white background there. And let's make it blue for the regular background. As you can see, it's popped back in there. And if you want to create a hover state for it, hit the little arrow. And this is common to most DV modules. If you hover over the dark writing here, you'll see some icons appear. If there's a little arrow, you can set a desktop state, basically what's happening when our mouse is not on it, and a hover state, which is what's happening when the mouse is on it. Let me just take this blue and make it a bit lighter. So we've got a lighter color blue on hover that's fine and of course you can do what you want with borders border radiuses let's just give it say 15 picks make it slightly rounded there and we can do that with our fields too simply by going down to spacing down below or down to borders down below i should say and let's give those 15 as well there we go that's fine that's all i'm going to do to this and now what we want it to do, when we scroll down the page, I don't want to see it until it gets to about here. Then I want it to slide in. And as we roll up the page, I want it to slide out when it gets up there. And to do that, we just need to go over to our Advanced tab. Roll this back down the page. We're going to go down to Scroll Effects right here. And we want to move it horizontally. So I'm going to select Horizontal Motion. I'm going to hit the little trigger to turn it on. As you can see, it's moved already. 
Now the starting offset, I want it to be 100% out of the way. So I'm going to write 100. If I scroll down, you can see it's already disappeared off the page. Now I can scroll up and it'll actually slide back in there. And it's going to slide the other way when we roll up. I want it to slide in. And then when it gets to the top, I want it to slide back out again. So I'm going to put 100 in the top as well. And you can move these down further. The viewport is the viewable width of whatever device you're looking at it on. So you can pull these down. You can set a little section in the middle where you want it to stay a certain level. But for mine today, I think I'm going to leave those on zero. Slide them back together. And right about 50% halfway up the page, I want it to be right where it should be. So if we scroll down, it's gone. There it is, it's sliding in. And it's actually sliding back a little more, a little quicker than I want it. I don't really want it to slide back until we're up here somewhere. So I'm going to drag the right side of this, say up to about 80%. Split it up again. So I'm going to drag the little arrow. Let's try 75. Let's put this one to 80. Obviously, you take yours to exactly where you want yours. Now let's scroll down, it's gone. It's coming in, it's staying there. We're scrolling up, it's staying there. If we get a bit higher, it should start to scroll back out again. There we go, and it's gone. Just save our little changes here. And roll down, gone, back in, stays there, rolls back out again. Let's make sure it's going to work on the front end. Exit the visual builder. Let's scroll on down. There we go. And it's popped in. And if we continue scrolling down, it'll fly out again. And like I say, that's going to get people's attention if they're scrolling down and something slides in like that. It's going to get their eyeballs on it pretty quick. And then as they scroll up, it's going to pop out again. So there you go, guys. Very simple effect today. Just one of the great inbuilt features of the Divi theme. And don't forget to check out our scroll effects playlist if you want to see how we did these other ones here, the little twists and appearing text and what have you. And there's our little contact form. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.